Hello everyone, thanks for joining. I'm playing some more Hammer 3 tonight with my friend uh, Mike. Uh, we're picking up from a multiplayer campaign here that we've got going. Uh, we're do currently doing Kislev. I'm doing the Boris Ursa, the Bear Man himself. Uh, and my friend is doing the Ice Queen here. We're on normal difficulty. Uh, we tried it on hard, very hard. Uh, and, and he absolutely got destroyed. Um, it's very tough, these multiplayer campaigns. We're having a lot of fun. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it'll go well this time. I'm gonna unmute myself and uh, we'll get going. R what is going on with your sheep over there? <laughs> your, she <laughs> your sheep are taking forever to load. I, I, I don't know. It's 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 my computer. It's slow, <laughs> slow and steady. Man, I, I, I was so disappointed. Go to oh, right, my bar is almost there. We go. It just. She, we should be coming in in just a second here. Hmm. Oh, uh, forgot that we, we ended in a cluster. Did we? <laughs> what? I thought everything was okay. I, I don't know. Like, is it okay with uh, all these Nurgle armies right next to us? I, I wouldn't <laughs> say it's ideal. But that's kind of been the go-to. All right, looks like we are in. And there's some scary corn units up to the north. We've almost wiped out Nurgle, but we have to wipe out. We have to capture Zwishnik Zwi in the next four turns, or we lose. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, we got simultaneous turns. Do you have any movement left on your people? Oh, I know. I see. Yeah, my army's flat out of everything. It looks like. Uh, yeah, I've uh, used all my movement. I cannot eradicate. Uh, I can recruit a couple more archers. So I'll do Boris that. Ursus I just remember that every single combat was just demon slayer. Absolutely brutal. Um, we we need we need to do a war thing on our little NPC dude. It looks like he's trying to attack Corn and not Nurgle. Oh, really? Okay. Can you do that? Can you direct him to go to Zoyshnik? Yeah. So, uh, have, have you been playing much of the single player campaign, like your Slanesh campaign? Um, I gave up on that one, like, uh, okay. but I've been playing uh, Keslov and I think I'm about 60 turns into that. How have you been liking that? Um, I'm enjoying it. Like, I'm starting to learn how to do the Keslov thing. Like, I guess I was okay. running it where like I would get attacked and all the hybrid units like some of the units I found out were set to like the skirmish thing so then as oh, soon as they yeah, no. like, like all my frontline guys would default to skirmish and then run away and then oh, I get no. oh no <laughs> so, so, so I learned which ones are that so then I can turn it off and I've been doing a lot better now that my front line doesn't scatter at the first sight of a demon <laughs> but Oh, it was tough. Like, I guess, uh, there's, like, these, like, chaos pillars that, like, show up and start spawning, like, demons and corruption in your land, and I didn't realize what they were for a while, and then, then I had, like, these huge stacks, like, attacking my cities and doing stuff, and, but I think I stabilized and got past that, and now, like, the vampires want a piece of me, and... Okay. And then... How, how's the, like, little political game between you and the other, uh, Kizla person? I don't know how to build my points up at all. He is kicking my ass. Oh, no. Okay. Thankfully, it's not too bad. Like, it's nice to get some of the bonuses, but it's not the end of the world. You don't lose if he beats you or anything. Oh. Man, close defeat. Uh, we gotta fight that then. I could retreat. Uh... Oh, is it one army versus one army, or do, are you calling them reinforcements? It just says one on one. Um, man, how do I win this? This is just feels like I'm gonna do a retreat. No, okay. no. all right, I guess we're starting with the battle. You can join okay. me if you'd like. I don't know how I win this. How do I win this? They really have, full, they have exalted plague bears. They got forsaken and Nurgle. They have a great unclean one. They've got oh, f four toads that you love so much. Oh, they got you got some cool dudes. Um, so the 
uh, armored corsairs are pretty good frontline dudes. Uh, Kosars, I think corsairs are like medieval pirates. <laughs> it's coaster. We don't even have any oceans. We're landlocked. We're, we're corsairs, not corsairs. I don't know. I, I don't speak English. Are you matey? <laughs> You're here in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to die. All right, um, given you control, what would you like? Uh, I don't know. Do you want, do you want, hero, you want hero ball? All on bears, that's pretty awesome. Um, or do you want to control the infantry and I'll have bear ball? Give me, give me some infantry. Like, like, uh, right here, I'm not very good, I haven't even played that much of Kislev, so you can, you can have it all. I just want to run around on bears. Hold on. You're gonna be the unbearable one. I'm gonna be unbearable. I'm trying to gift it to you. There you go. Okay. Uh... You sit up forever, and then I'll sit. Is this a new campaign? A great question, Jeremy. Uh, this is the we we this is a multiplayer campaign. Uh, we started it on hard because we're you know real pro gamers. Absolutely got destroyed. This this campaign's difficulty is not like any of the other. Um, oh, are we setting up over here? Okay. Hello. Yeah. I like this corner. It's got a little hill. You got you got another unit over there. Don't forget about him. Um, but yeah, we started a campaign. Got absolutely slaughtered. Like it wasn't even close. This campaign's difficulty is nothing like anything I've ever seen in a Warhammer game. So we started over on normal. We're still getting our butts kicked. Uh, but at least it's like a little bit. We've actually ta conquered some territories. Um, but we still might even auto lose the campaign, even with that going on. So. Who knows? So it's about long story short, it's the it's the second night of a new campaign. We're like eleven turns in, so we're pretty new. I think I start battle. Be good. All right. Okay. See if I see these all have charge bonus leadership. This person, this battle isn't looking good. I know. Yeah, the balance of power is nuts. The fact that the pregame said um. Like, close victory kind of blew my mind. Like, maybe we should have taken it, but um, we're starting off with a battle. Um, they've got these cool flies. I love the sound effects on these. The buzzing is just amazing. Uh, you got the legendary frog riders. Very cool models. So creepy. Yeah, I know. Ooh. You got a lot of big, big chungers. Gotta love them. The little spawns in the Nurgle. They're actually moving quite quick. A little slug monster, more frogs, forsaken. Great and clean one, gotta be up there for like favorite greater demons. He's amazing. Um, although surprisingly pretty easy to kill in this game. <laughs> like Mike and I have killed so many of them in like seconds. They they fall over quite quick. The soul grinder, however, is annoying. He's got this little arm cannon, and he's going to shoot us the entire game. All right, we've got bear powers, wrath of the bear. Can you use those, or is that just me? Is that Urgot? It is, like, a really big Urgot. See, there's, there comes the artillery. Yeah, yeah I don't know how we're dealing with that artillery. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to it. Can you use the bear powers, or is that just me? Just you. Like, you don't have Wrath of the Bear on the right? Oh, man. No. Okay, that artillery is killer. Yeah, they're flanking us with the flies. Mike's going for the box formation, which is probably smart. Here, I'm gonna, so just sending these one Pox Rider squads, I'm gonna go buy some time. Okay. Send in the bear boys. Okay, yeah, if you can intercept them and just keep them away from the shooty line. Yep. I have a hundred million buffs. I'll have all the buttons. I love that they're like the same size, like the bear is like the same size as the toads. Oh no, it's gonna be Snurgle. Yeah, they're getting big. Yeah, hopefully they can tank it for a time. Cause yeah, they've engaged on all of our fronts. Artillery's raining down. Hero Ball is doing its best. We're starting to get... Moving back with the Threlt Sea. Yeah, this isn't looking good. <laughs> no, like, I don't know how it was so generous. I can't even pull the hero ball out, so I guess we're fighting. 
We've got a great and clean one coming in. Yeah, I guess uh, we just want to try to do as much damage as we can. I don't think I can even kill a great and clean one. Uh, I'd, I'd ignore the great and clean one and like, like if you can clean up some of like these like bloke flies and stuff back here. Uh, yeah, like, I, uh, okay. Yeah, that would be great. I can't get out of combat though. I'm trying. My yes! I'm trying to push my way out of combat here. Yes! So you got flies to the left and yeah, fly, flies to the right. right here I come. Done. We're gonna heal going. That's a scary stack of Nurgle. <laughs> yeah. Every single stack is like this, just an absolute. Yeah, so we can finish off these plague things. I love that their leader is Tox Farter. Very, very good well, at least our leadership's holding up, I guess. Yeah, yep, they're very, very brave because little boys. Trying to finish off some units, but I don't know if that's going to And they even gave like the uh, advance, the plague bears, even have ranged attacks. They threw like shrunken heads and they're really brutal. How can you be scared while riding a bear? That's a great question. See, this was fighting to the last tip point. Um, I'm about to break. I think. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. That's right, we're, we're immune to morale while on a bear. It's a bear rule. They're the part of the bear necessities. Yep, I think there everything goes. Yeah, it was absolutely brutal. One last second heal. I'm gonna finish off with both both flies. Alright, we got oh, we got him! We got the end of both blow flies over here. Okay, well hope hope Small victory, that's right. Did enough to soften them for the next for our next army to take them out. Yeah, because my Mike's armies are nearby too. Um, but yeah, yeah. Basically, every army is like that. Like a whole twenty stack of tier five units led by a dude named Toxfarter, and it's just like waves of these guys. But yeah, looks like we killed some toads. We killed some flies. We almost killed some spawn. Like killed some of their more like fast moving hard hit and stuff. This was like my main army though, and I don't have a ton of time to build it back up again. Yep, rip indeed. Maybe in a bit? Cool. Yeah, happy to have you. Oh, okay, it looks like I'm getting attacked. Oh, you're getting attacked too. Welcome to the club. Ooh, <laughs> Do you want to retreat too? Where are you getting attacked from? Let's see. Well, if I, if I retreat... Is oh, there like three armies on you? Oh my, what is happening over there? Oh my, I, I got one full stack army, a second full stack army, and then two like little mini ones. Why don't you want to retreat? Well, if I, re well, I'm in the, I'm in camped right now, and if I retreat, then the armies will split, and then they'll probably just like attack and hit, hit me one at a time. Oh, you've got your other army there too? Yeah. I mean, you're in camped with reinforcements, I see, yeah, I think we just fight it. See what we can do. If not, we lose all of our armies and we lose. Oh my god, Mike. What in is this? How many stacks do we have? Oh got my. Got like two 20 stacks. That's true. Are you gonna give me, just give me a whole 20 stack then to work with? I'm just gonna give you my starting army and then okay, I'll bring in the reinforcements. reinforcements. Jeez. That way we don't Jeez. have to like pass them off the battle. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay, okay, come in over here. Yeah. Uh, we'll give you all these dudes.
Okay. Cool. Sons of Gislev. Okay, so I guess look to the west, uh, or <laughs> east the Dutch. Should I wait over by here by you? Um... I don't want to just square up and get flanked, right? Uh... Well, I guess, like, if, if, if you're over there and you set up, I might even run back. It looks like you'll get maybe a little bit of a hill bonus if you back up to, like, the white The back border. hill? Like, like here? Yeah, I'm looking for the draw tool in this thing. Uh, top left. Oh, 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 I'm thinking like right here-ish. Okay. Uh, but like if you go from like here to here, then like you'll have a little slight hill that you're on top of, and then you're at the corner, and then when they come in, then like I'll be right there. Okay. That also forces biggest stack of reinforcements to walk, or happy ass, like all the way across the map when we get like tired. We do have Heart of Winter, which is good. That's good. I'm glad we've got that. Um, Art of Winter? Yeah, it's a spell on your Ice Priestess. Huge AoE that does a bunch of slow and damage. Does the multiplayer look the same, in the same way as last game? Uh, I don't know how so. How so. Uh, they've made a lot of quality of life improvements. Um, I'm ready whenever you are. I'll just do some rearranging once we're going. Oh, yep. Alright. Okay. Like, there's simultaneous yeah. turns, you don't have to, like, wait anymore, you can kind of do your own thing. You can still get control and give control of things. Double check your armor course there, just make sure they're not on the runaway skirmish thing. Nope. Okay. Not, some even, reason they were... not even the other ones are, they're all, they're all good. I wonder if that was like a default setting I did. It is, it is default. So long. Yeah. I now, what abilities do the Lord have? Basic Lord stuff. Yeah, Heart of Winter is 24 magical powers, so we'll be saving up a lot for it. Yeah, I'm going to hit fast forward. Okay, go for it. Also, Jeremy, how's the stream quality? How does Mike sound? How do I sound? I, I've bumped it up to 1080p compared to the 720p. It's saying I, I, don't, don't, have, I don't have any frame drops. And all the lights are green. Well, well what, Mike? Everything all right, Captain? You're all right over there, Captain? Yeah, I'm doing all right, but I always sound aw awful on Mike. That's true. That's just your voice. <laughs> everything looks so... Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Okay, going back to play. Or single. Okay. Are you gonna? You should come come hang out with me. It's a great hill. I've uh, declared. I've only had this bear poop a little bit over here. So I'm just going with cinematic mode, kind of show the audience. They did such a good job on Kislev units. All of them are so just absolutely beautiful in what they do. They even look and sound great. And you got Elsa and Bear Lord here. I don't know how you can go wrong with that. Mike doesn't have any cool units in his army for me to control except for these guys. They have the absolute most man mode Northman case of all time. Where are you going? Are you coming over here? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. I just look like you're really far away. Um, um, I'm, I'm pausing just for a second to get my the stuff set up. <laughs> Russian Spartans, yeah, or as Mike calls them, Corsairs. <laughs> so maybe they're Russian pirates? I don't know. Um... The, the most manliest caves of all time. Look at these shields. Like, this is just an absolute man. I wish there wasn't, like, ten dudes to a unit. They weren't designed that way. But Mike literally just let them get down to the, the Spartan bodyguards here. Um, so I don't even know. They're not even... I don't even count them as a unit. I'm just, like, adding them to more support here. I don't even know what's happening because I got rid of the UI. I don't even know what Mike's doing with the con game controls because nothing's happening. Here we go. Yeah, I was assigning, like, numbers to all my no, units. No, you're fine. Not, it's your battle. This is a, a potentially game-ending battle, so... Okay. Alright, uh, yeah, look at the swarm of dudes. Oh, my goodness. We got the plague flies buzzing in. The big toad monsters. Some forsaken. All the plague bearers known to man. Two great unclean ones. I love the loincloths. Very, uh, it hides all the important details. We got the slug monster. More flies. Some bats. 
What do you think? Should we move up to the in between the forests? Uh, let me go check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move up. Okay. So I'll go over, I guess I'll go over some top tips here. Uh, in order to keep your formation, can Mike might even learn stuff too. If you band box your entire army, so click and drag your whole uh, box over your army, and you hold Alt, it will keep the exact formation that you have. So I don't have to move anything. Um, and then if you, I can line up perfectly with Mike's army. I have to do a little bit of finger. Te what's, what's that game called where you spin the wheel and like put your left leg on your right red blue whatever that is? I do a little bit of that. Um, but I can hold space, and I see where all of Mike's units are going to end up. Twister, thank you. A little bit of a little bit of finger twister, and I can line it up perfectly. I'll put it so I'm like right next to his army, but I've got a little bit of the hill, so now everything will stay there. There's also another tactic you can do again if you bandbox your whole army, uh, hold Alt, click and drag. You can even spin the wheel. I don't remember how. To, I don't know why it's not coming up. It was there a second ago and like rearrange that way. It's really clunky. I think it's like moving your mouse left and right will spin your whole formation. So that's a good thing to do. See, now Mike's moved up all of his stuff just because he's trying to keep me on my toes, I guess. Yep. But still, I can just do that. Hold space. I can see where his stuff's going to end. Hold Alt. Even though everything's not even in the same formation, it's all absolute cluster. It still remembers the formation that we're in. And I can just move it up there. I'm not going to run anything. Running will tire your guys, so I'm not going to run some of the units. Especially some of the faster ones. Well, it's given us plenty of time to get our magic. Um, the top is like your reserve and it drains into the bottom, so I've got 45 mana worth of spells. So I can do Heart of Winter almost twice now. Which will be nice. I don't really know what they're... I think... Are they waiting... I don't think any more of the reinforcements can come out. I think they literally hit the unit cap because they're grayed out and they don't have a timer. So I think that means that they could come in any time, but they literally can't control any more units. <laughs> Which doesn't very well, because we've not hit that same problem. Well, I guess that's a good thing, though. Like, Yeah, they'll, they'll have some trickle, trickle in. We've got... We're dealing with the biggest issue that we're going to have at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Problem can't get worse. Okay, I guess shoot some drones. Oh yeah, there you go, murder those guys. Hearts of ice! The motherland's finest! You've got all your uh, cavalry over here on my side as well to keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna hold them back and then just wait to charge something. I think your ice guard are on skirmish, Mike, unless you move them back. Yeah, I, I, I wanted them to skirmish at least. Okay. Yeah, all my lights are green. Still have three viewers, which I think is Jeremy, Mike, and I don't know who the third is. Happy to have you. Nurgle's just very slow. Uh, that's a, like one weakness, basically. They don't have a ton of shooting and they're really slow. Which doesn't matter a whole lot when they're just gonna impending doom our entire army to death. Uh, oh, you know what? I got a little buff to get my dudes over there. I'll do a cool buff. Okay. Use some winds of magic, get some little armor piercing against uh, if the... We share, oh, I think we might share winds of magic, so don't spend it all. Uh, okay. oh, these, these flies are doing like, a wonderful parade in front of all of my range units. I like that. <laughs> I like, la -da -dee, la -da -dee. They're, they're, they're doing the, the testing range. Yep, they can shoot us out to here, boss. Like, that's great, they're parading in front of the whole army, I like that. Got some drones coming behind us. Okay. We got a bunch of frog boys coming in. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. Drop a slow on that unit. You got a couple of units you can turn around and shoot these little fly dudes. 
They're chasing my cavalry. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, I'm gonna send a couple archers at him too. Okay. <laughs> you see the ammunition? Yeah, they're doing the uh, well, the Chinese strat of using up all of our ammunition. Okay, I guess we'll put the horses back. Alright, this should be dealt with soon. Alright, turn around. Yeah, the Hunter Winner is going to be big. I wonder if we share magic or not. Because I don't think I've seen it go down. Okay. Other than I think we I, do. Other than when I've cast... Oh yeah, I just went down like 20. Did you cast a spell? Yeah, I just threw a Heart of Winter out. Okay. Oh, you did a Heart of Winter too. Nice. Yeah, I've got one also. I'll do it too. I am the score. Obey the orthodoxy! It's showing! Yeah, see how the winner just annihilated that unit. Yeah, only cast hard a winner from here on out. We need the mana to put it all out. Lord of the motherland, Okay, I got. Do you have anything that you can kind of fold in on these great unclean ones? I got a few that crash into my line. Like if you take sure. your. Uh, where? Left, if you take your left flank and then just kind of like mash that into some of those dudes on my right. Sure. I don't see any great and clean ones. Oh, it's over there. Okay, yeah, let's. Here, I'll put some shoot ems at over there. Sons of Gislev! Yeah, focus that one down. Attack, comrades! Slay them! Yeah, if you could hard a winner that area, that'd be great. Do you have the cooldown for it? Uh, yep. Yeah, do it right there. Okay, I'm gonna br try to bring my cavalry over then. Also. Yeah, because I can only do so much with that. What are you doing over here, Bear Boy? Bear Boy, no! Bear Boy, away! done a little bit too much on our own dudes. Oh, did I nuke my own guys? A little bit, yeah. Alright, here. Got some rear charge guys coming in. Okay, do it. Send the cavalry out to. I was gonna say deal with the the, the artillery to Ur, we'll deal with the Urgot, but he, they've got a little bit of protection still. Make war! Yeah, I think I think this is over. My my flanks just kind of melting. Are they still? Keep holding. 
I'm gonna reform over on your side. It's looking. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's like fine over here. I'll, I'll let you use the mana if you need it. They don't have any more reinforcements? Yeah, see, we're like, we're, we're holding out. Yeah, of course I didn't have much to help Mike with. And yeah, he's got a lot of he's dealing with over there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose Ice Queen and there's not a lot I can do about it. Alright, yeah, we're out of ammo, so the old pox fly maneuver did pay off. Oh, we're still gonna fight. They keep bogging down the only unit with it, with uh. Most of the unit with uh, our ammo left. Come on. Let's take these box riders down. Yep, okay, they're down. Zargar! Zargar, let's collapse over here. I'm gonna try to clean up my flank real quick. A fine strategy! And, oh yeah, my well, Mike has a lot of hell. If we look over here, it's looking really good. Um, just don't look over over there. That's really bad. Mike's <laughs> being completely overrun in every shape of the word. Um, but if you don't look at that, it's, it's actually all right over here. Yeah, just Sometimes ignoring problems on... Yep, just do put the dodo, dodo maneuver. Bury your head in the sand. <laughs> I guess I'm still doing okay on some of my ammunition. Oh, okay. He's, the only problem is that I can't even like quickly break these guys and like move on because Nurgle we'll just do not break. And Nurgle are fun. The only problem is that Nurgle me campaign mechanics are one of the worst of the demons. Like they're so hard to manage with the campaign. But when the AI just gets like infinite armies of all their best units, they don't have to worry about anything. Like I've been, I've had like this entire unit surrounded by my entire army for about a half hour with a cat. <laughs> they still, they're not even like close to running away. Defenders of Kislev, armored Cossars. Man, we just need more bears. Execute them. The only problem with this campaign is you can't even really focus on the economy to support like a tiny army because you just you're constantly being pressed forward. Um, hmm. See, I mean, we're still fighting, but for how much longer? Finally, this unit's thinking about running away. I feel like we did good damage. It just wait, 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 way too many dudes. <laughs> yeah, like, we even like got on the one settlement. Like I don't even know how they got these this many dudes back. Yeah, okay. you know, let, let, let's let's restart and just try a fresh campaign. I think I think we're gonna need a, another go at it. Okay, but this was, we got a lot closer this time. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think we need a... Because, like, I was assigning during our last turn, our, like, ally guy was attacking corn for some reason and not Nurgle, so maybe, maybe if we... I think I'll play that guy, um, just so we can kind of coordinate the Western Front. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. We, we tried. I think if I play that guy and coordinate the Western Front and you play Ice Queen and hold Kids Love, 
it won't matter too much what this guy does. Like, I feel like we're just part of the same pod. The only thing is, is that our army will be split up. Okay. If only we had another person, you can tell her something that's, that screamed to be our third boy. These are some brave, uh, brave boys, though. Oh, there's a random unit in the middle of nowhere recovered. I, I think that's it for my army. I love how many, like, uh, heralds they have. There's so many heralds. Herald! Ah, oh, look at that. Their, their best unit, the Soul Grinder, ran out of ammo and has to walk. Take that, Soul Grinder. <laughs> how many kills does this guy have? Uh, only 77 kills. Wow. What a nerd. That's right. I don't know if you're the nerd or if this guy's the nerd, but I think you're both nerds. Look at this guy. Mega nerd. This is this is Sour Sunshine right here. Hi. <laughs> I'm Sour Sunshine. I stream RuneScape. But I like to watch my friends play the game too. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Um yeah, but bullied in high school? Absolutely. Like swirlies and everything. Pretty sure that's how I looked when I had COVID. Uh huh. That was my COVID. <laughs> yeah. I think that's everybody with COVID. Look at how much stuff we killed. They, their main army had literally nothing left except for Jeremy the Soul Grinder over here. But man, we put up a good fight. I've also never played as Castalton, so I'm like, I wonder how he his playstyle even works. What kind of billings do I have? I don't know. I'm excited for the challenge. So let's we'll see if we can start another one. Third try is the charm. Because, yeah, I don't think we have... We don't have the time to re, to get an army going. I only have the time more money to get another army up to speed to fight back these demons enough time to get to turn 15 to not lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, like, it would take us three turns just to get... An army built. Yeah. And then four turns to walk it over. Valiant defeat. Yeah, we deployed... They deployed, like, a hundred more, and they lost a hundred more, so... Those, I don't know what more we could have done with that. Shall be I love that these like other people want to do things like where where were you when the Westfold fell? Helmut, <laughs> not being a helper at all. Oh, Bailey, can I quit the main menu here? We can. All right, I'll do so. Oh, I get to make a cool choice. All right. Yep, all my stuff is dead. All right, I will restart a new game. <laughs> 